We're here with freshman sprinter, sprinter Natasia Jackson from Spring, Texas. And Natasia, you're our demon of the day, so we'll get to know you a little bit better. Uh, Speedy is your nickname. Yes, sir. Obviously, you're a sprinter, you're going to be fast, but how did you get that nickname and who gave it to you? I received that nickname from my first coach I ever was coached by in middle school, to be exact. I didn't really know about track, and he kind of saw the potential that I had. And every time I went out there, I wanted to be the best so I, I could become what I want to be, which is an Olympian. And every day I would do my best to stay ahead of everyone. And Speedy was just given to me by then. And it kept continued on. So it's like a legacy for me. <laughs> People in Natchez, they call you Speedy. And yes, sir. Lived on. Yes, sir. Um, how did you get into track? You said a, a coach found you. Was mm -hmm. it can, can you describe how, how you got into the sport? Well, my mom was the first ever in my family to begin running track, and she couldn't finish what she wanted to start because it was harder for her. So as I got older and I had a chance to get into sports, my mom was like, hey, you know, you should definitely try this, and if it's hard, don't give up, continue on with it, and I just loved it ever since. Spring, Texas is from the Houston area. Yes, sir. Around the Houston area. What, what drew you to Northwestern State? Coach Adams. He was an awesome coach throughout my junior to senior year. He was there supporting me, no matter the cost, no matter if I had a good or bad track meet. He was always there. He always told me, if you keep your head up, good things are going to come. And of course, when I came on a visit, I loved the team. I loved their attitudes. Everything about them just drew me to them. And I figured that I can have a family coming here. And that's actually true. I feel like the family of the team it will be here. Houston to Natchitoches, big difference. Yes, How are you transitioning? The team, that's the only thing I keep, can continue saying. The team is what really continue to keep me moving forward. No matter the doubts, no matter anything, they always told me, hey, if you continue, we can help you from here. And I always appreciated that. What's your favorite athletics moment while at industry? My opening seasoning here as a freshman. Um, running at Alabama, winning the 400 with a PR in the 200, I felt amazing from then on. Who said the biggest influence on you coming up? My mom. I mean, obviously she ran track. Yes, what sir. other things? What types of, adv of advice did she give? Did she give you when you started competing in the sport? I've always had a fear of being the shortest in an event that most people who are five, seven, five, eight compete in, and I always have this fear of, am I going to be good enough to compete in the 400? And my mom will always tell me, don't matter the height, as long as you practice hard and you trust in the process, you will always be great in my eyes. And from then on, that stuck with me. We're, uh, we're going to go to the rapid fire part of the interview now. Uh, your favorite late night snack? Granola bars. Granola bars. How many do you eat granola bars all the time? Or yes, sir. Um, cats or dogs? Dogs. Do you have a favorite breed? Uh, I love Great Danes. <laughs> Great Danes. Gotcha. Um, do you have, if you could only pick one social media account, which would it be in one? Instagram, because you can expose yourself as in pictures, videos, and more people will understand you through there. Gotcha. Hamburger or pizza? Pizza. What's on your pizza? Supreme, nuts and vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got you. Vanilla or chocolate? Um, vanilla. <laughs> Natasha Jackson, thank you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs>